Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions Berkshire. In this video, what we're going to do is show you how to block YouTube at the router. Uh, we're going to be using a feature called URL filtering. Um, that sometimes goes by a different name. You might hear it called uh, website filtering or web filtering or URL blacklisting or there's many names for it uh, depending on which brand of router you're using but essentially it's the same thing. We're taking the URL and we're stopping the router from allowing the network to access that. Um, in this case we're going to be uh, using it for YouTube but you can use it for you know pretty much any website you want to uh, want to blacklist or filter. Um, so I'm going to be using, as you can see here, a TP-Link Armada router, but the principle is exactly the same for whichever brand you're using. As long as you've got a fairly decent router, then it's probably going to have URL filtering on it. Um, some examples of brands that do have URL filtering, I know they have URL filtering, are uh, Zeus, uh, Netgear, uh, Draytech, um, Synology, uh, Linksys, all these brands, they all have URL filtering on at least some of their routers. So it is a feature that you should be able to find. Um, and it's obviously not going to be in exactly the same place and not done in exactly the same way, but the principle is exactly the same. And these URLs that I'm going to be showing you and using in this video are going to be ones that you apply to the router. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So you can see here I've got a, a Amada router um, by TP-Link and I'm viewing this in the Amada controller software. Um, you can also view this router in standalone just by going to the IP address. And the model of the router is the ER605 version one, in case anybody's wondering. Right, so first thing to do is we're gonna go down to settings and we're gonna to go to network security and then URL filtering. So nice and easy to find. And then what we're gonna do, we've got a gateway rule and we're gonna create a new rule. Now we can call this whatever we want. Uh, I'm just gonna call it YouTube blocking and we've gotta enable it, deny. So that means the URL is gonna be denied at source. Um, now we're doing a blanket ban here, so basically anything that's on the network, either connected via Wi-Fi or via a cable, is not going to be able to access these URLs. Um, you can make this more selective, so you can use IP groups, or uh, down here where you say network, we're just going to select the LAN, so that's basically everything on our network is going to get banned. But through the use of VLANs, you could make this more selective. Um, Unfortunately, this router doesn't have any way of filtering through MAC addresses that I know of, um, so we have to just do it on one of the networks. You doing it on VLANs is, is fairly simple, but it's a little bit more complicated. So at the moment, we're just going to show you how to do it on the LAN, and then maybe we'll do another video just to show you how to kind of put it into VLANs and then add that to Wi-Fi equipment and how you can how you can sort of break it down so that some devices are able to be filters and some devices aren't. But this one that I'm showing you at the moment is just a blanket ban. Nothing on your network will be able to access uh, YouTube. So what you need to do basically is then put in the URLs. Now there's 11 URLs in total. Uh, to confess, I don't exactly know which one does what. I just know that when you have all of them, it definitely doesn't work. I've not gone through them all to try them out to see which one actually stops what. But obviously some of them are a little bit obvious, like um, for example, this next one I'm putting in here. This is the mobile one. Um, but some of them are a bit more obscure. Now I have uh, heard that um, people have in certain instances struggled with some Google services when they've put in this block. Um, but we use Google services, um, we use their, their office services and all the rest of it, and uh, we've not had any issues at all with this while we've been trying to trying this out for uh, for a week or so. So, um, you know, I'd be really interested to hear if you do get problems with any of the Google services, then please let me know in the comments. Right, okay, so we've got, as I said, we've got quite a few of these. Um, we've got to add 11 in total. So this next one, Google video, got all sorts in here. Let's get that in. Now, annoyingly, you're only allowed 10 on this, 10 in each rule. So I have to apply this and I have to create a new rule. I'm gonna just call this YouTube, oh, YouTube block. Continued, right, so enable, deny, network, LAN, and then we've just got to add this last URL in here. So we'll do that, paste, and then apply. Okay, so there you see you've got the YouTube blocking, and you've got that on your LAN, and then it's got all the filters in there. So that's it. That is now active. That will now uh, work straight away. If you've got a um, if you've got a browser, sometimes I find that you might have to close it down and open it again, and then you'll see the blocking coming in. But effectively, this this will block 
um, anything that's any device that's connected to this network. So if you're trying to watch YouTube on a telly, it will stop it. If you're trying to watch it on a tablet, phone, whatever, it's going to stop it. It's a pretty basic block, um, but it's very good um, at stopping pretty much anyone from, from, from getting on. The only thing I would say is that if you're a little bit tech savvy, you can get around this with a VPN. It is possible on many routers to block VPNs from being used, but in this case, it's a basically, it can be got around with a, with a VPN. The other thing that you must remember that is mobile phones will only be blocked from accessing YouTube if they're going through the Wi-Fi. If they're going through the mobile data, then they won't. They won't. But as I said, this is a great little way. So let's just try, try this now. We'll just open up YouTube and see if we can get... Oh, if we can get onto it, sometimes I find it doesn't work straight away. Other times it literally jumps straight on. Uh, you can see now it's spinning, which is probably going to mean that it's not going to work. So what it should say is that it will just either say no internet or it will just, the page just won't load like this. So it's just not happening. So you can see that the, that YouTube block has come in already. So that's it. That is basically how you do it. Right, here we go. You can get it here. This will show you what it does. So it's a bit slow because it's trying to get through. And what you find is probably some of the features have come through. You can start to see parts of the page have come through, but actually you can't load the whole page. It might try to refresh itself and then you'll just get a little sign here saying no internet. And that's the same on the um, on the TVs as well. It just sort of partially loads, but it ultimately doesn't let you use it. So it's perfect if you're trying to keep kids or maybe employees off YouTube, you can just use this uh, URL filtering and just block them out. I hope this video has been helpful. If you liked it, please do subscribe to the channel. I will be doing plenty more like this and I will do a more in-depth video to show you how to be more selective with which uh, devices you ban from this in the future. Thanks very much.